Hey everyone, we're doing this at Valor Ridge, and the purpose of this video today is to talk about some mil spec ammo and to see if some of those rumors are true that everyone talks about how inaccurate it is. Let's go ahead and get started. You know, oftentimes when you know you're around firearms long enough, and uh, you know I've been teaching firearms now for uh, 12, going on 13 years full time. Um, this is our 10th year at, at Valor Ridge that we've been running classes. So a lot of times, you know, we get people from different walks of life. You know, we get people with different backgrounds. Some have very minimal experience and some have a decent amount of experience. But one thing that kind of pains me is to hear people say things uh, such as, well, don't use mil spec ammo or don't use green tip ammo because it's really not that accurate. Well, thing is, guys, is that it is in the hands of a, of a good rifleman with good fundamentals, okay? Uh, now, understand different rifles like different ammo so you got to go and see what shoots best out of yours but one thing that really pained me is is i had a young man who was about to deploy overseas uh you know to combat and he's like man i really wish we could get, we had better ammo because this green tip stuff sucks and you know it kind of hurt me because i think somebody should have a, a confidence in, in their equipment i think that uh you know the the stuff that the worst thing that you can do uh, teaching firearms is to tell somebody that that they're that somebody else's equipment is just not that good or that it's going to somehow put them at a disadvantage. So what I did at that point was, I said, well, okay, let, let's see if that's true. You know, we'll go down, we'll shoot some groups, uh, we'll we'll be able to go out and shoot some some groups with that green tip. So what I did today, um, you know, I, I thought, well, I've got uh, different rifles. They're all Colt rifles, so very similar to a to a mil spec gun. And what we're going to do is we're going to shoot this green tip out of three different rifles and we'll see what kind of accuracy that, that we got out of this. Now the first one I shot was right here guys, this ammo was a XM855 green tip. Uh, this is exactly what I use right here, it comes in these boxes on these stripper clips, you guys can see the, the green tip right there. And it's the XM855 62 grain. And so what I did was, was I shot this right here out of a 6920 SOCOM 14 and a half inch barrel, about as close to mil spec as you can get. And as you can see, guys, is if I measure this right here, you know, what I'm looking at is I'm looking at under uh, a two and a half inch group, right under two and a half inch. It's more about two and a quarter. And that's what I got. And I've shot this from 100 yards, and I shot this from a field prone position. You know, regular old prone, how they used to teach in basic rifle marksmanship. So no lead sled, no shooting bench, none of the other gimmicky crap that has about as much to do with gunfighting as bowling does. So we use regular field positions at Valorant, standing, kneeling, and prone. So that's what I did out of this one here. So you can see it put two through the same hole. I called this one. Otherwise, it would have been much, much tighter of a group. So then the second one I used was this shining star right here. This is a Colt 6920 uh, EPR. The only thing that differentiates this from a regular 6920 is, is that it uh, doesn't have the uh, fixed front sight. They grind that off and then put this rail on there and it doesn't have the round hand guards like the traditional, but everything else, the same bolt, the uh, same barrel, everything else on a regular Colt 6920 is right in front of your eyes. So this one I shot with iron sights only, you know, those inaccurate old school stuff, the nubby things that you gotta line up and everything. And so from this one, uh, I got, let's see here, let's see if we can measure this in. On this group here, I've uh, got uh, under an inch and a half, uh, no matter how you slice the bread here, uh, it really comes out to that uh, under an inch and a half, or at least about an inch and a quarter, if I'm being honest with people here, about an inch and a quarter. And these are five shot groups, guys. These are five shot groups. I like shooting five shot groups. Three can get a little dicey. And then of course, the last is a control, as I used a, uh, a 6940. Now what a Colt 6940 is, is a model with a gupper, but it's still a 16 inch. And what I got, and I called this round, but I had, and once again, two through the same hole here. But even with this flyer, what I'm looking at here is we're looking at, no matter how you slice the bread, we're looking once again under a two and a half inch, more like a two and a quarter group. So that's three different rifles with green tip, all from a field prone position. Once again, not a shooting bench, nothing fancy, just pure marksmanship fundamentals at 100 yards. And this was the ammo that we used. Uh, this old standard green tip. So out of three different rifles, we're holding well under two and a half inches. Guys, if you hold two MOA, you're winning matches at Camp Perry. So I hope we discussed some of the concerns out there for people and knowing that if it's truly your fundamentals, it's going to make the difference, not what you have. And we need to go out and we need to practice these fundamentals and we need to stop repeating the same BS over and over again. Are there better lots than other ammo wise? Yeah. Lake City puts out good lots. They put out bad lots, but I've got a lot of different ones and I've never had green tips shoot worse than three inches at a hundred yards, guys. That should tell you something. That's six inches 
at 200 and that's nine inches. In other words, a dinner plate at 300 yards. That means you can hit a dinner plate at 300 yards with this stuff. That to me is darn good ammo. And I don't think you should feel underserved if, if you have to get issued this stuff or if you're deploying with this stuff. Uh, good practice ammo as well, guys. Good practice ammo, you can go out and do it. Uh, we have better options for personal defense ammo here in the United States. But even if I was in the military and that's all I had, you know, I wouldn't feel too horrible about it, especially if your marksmanship mechanics are sorted out. And if you found the information in this video helpful, subscribe to the channel and follow us on social media. That link is in the description box below. And better still, if you want to learn how to become a better, more competent rifleman, regardless of what you're using, come on out to Valor Ridge and we can sort you out. This is Reed Hendricks with Valor Ridge reminding you, the lessons that we learn are written on the tombstones of others. We'll see you on the ridge.